What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Just spent a half hour making this video, only to find out my mic didn't work. <laughs> so we're going to make it again. I know you guys don't know that, but it's part of the thing that happens with this stuff that I don't ever talk about, you know. this Everybody thinks that these things are just so simple to do, but things happen and uh it sucks but we i had made a banger of a video too so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to be recreate it because it's just one of those things but anyways let's get into it hopefully it's better than what i did the first time january 2024 cornwell flyer let's check it out and get into it Ladies and gentlemen, the blue ion flexible cob headlight. We're gonna move along in this one. We got 24 pages, ain't got much time to jabber around because it takes a long time to get through this. These are great lights, definitely something I would definitely be looking at. I love mine. I don't have a blue ion, but I have some I have a different one, and uh, I absolutely do love it. It's great. We got the die grinder combo, 129.95. That's actually a pretty sweet deal. We've got the digital torque wrenches. Down here, 72 degree. I don't believe these are vibrate though. I, I like that vibrate and the and the audio audible as well as the visual with the color change. So kind of used to that. So uh, we got 539 for the half inch, I'm assuming, and 499 and 449 for the quarter, three eighths and a half, I'm assuming, based on what's down here in the bottom. They're not really marked. I guess the most part numbers do match up. So, 1 to 20 foot pounds, 5 to 100, and 12 and a half to 250 foot pounds. So, you could really rack up some debt there. Dang near $1,500 to get all your torque wrenches, but you'd be set to jet right there. And that's probably the cheapest of all the tool trucks. So, moving right along here, we have the socket combination wrench set BOGO, SAE, and metric. Five, save up to $549 off on trade both sets 969.90 now i don't i don't really have any use for these that i don't think somebody made a comment one time i don't remember if you guys use those or find those handy i have a couple random ones but i've never really said hey those things are something i need or have to use but there's somebody uh, there's some trade one of you guys that do something and something uh where you're doing them they said that these work fantastic so uh definitely leave a comment down there we got a new blue power Air Hammer Kit, $359.95, looks suspiciously like the Matco one, which is uh, a hard hitter unit itself, but I uh, wonder if this one has trigger control like the Snap-on. That's the one big thing about Air Hammers, I found out, trigger control. You know, when you want to get those, bup, 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 bup. a lot of hammers, Air Hammers don't do that, so keep that in mind if you're trying to do that, because some people like to, you know, you just need a little tapping, you need a little tappy tap tap it in you need that little tappy tap and a lot of these air hammers don't do that we got a pretty cool rechargeable digital tire inflator that's right i said rechargeable for 132.95 that is pretty awesome the fact that somebody's finally figured it out hey we make rechargeables and everything else why not put it in the digital tire inflator well there you go uh then we have the new may mayhew rebranded usa made cornwell brand they're on the Cornwall name. They are made by Mayhew, but the Cornwall's carrying the name on them. So it's pretty cool. $139.99. I like it. I like it a lot. We got some more blue power. Remember, buy the blue, save the green. $174.95. Get yourself a free knife with that one. Kenefe. We got the offset BOGO wrench bet. Wrench set $214.95. The no go jump pack GB70. Not a fan of that one. Would not recommend it. <clears throat> Speed Locker, $140.95. We got the 30-piece half-inch drive Blue Power SAE socket set, $264. And then $249 for the half-inch drive metric set. That's not too shabby. Like, like I said, right there. There's Buy the Blue, Save the Green right there. That's a pretty good deal. A lot of sockets you're going to get there. All the way up to 24 millimeter. And all the way up to inch and a quarter on your six-point sets. Oh, here we go. Is that inventory blowout? Now, 120-tooth ratcheting set and 3 h drive ratchet, BOGO. 449 That is a double flex 
long set of wrenches right there. Huh. Very interesting. Hmm. I didn't even know they had those, to be honest with you. Uh, adjustable work, so, uh, work light, sixty-two ninety-five. We have a Cornwall Portable Tennis Table, three fifty-one ninety-five. We have a Clamp Probe Kit right there, forty-nine ninety-five. Look at these sexy platinum toolboxes. I love that white. Doesn't that just look clean and nice and beautiful? The white on blue. I would love to have a car that looked like that. I'd love to have a white car with some blue trim on it like that. Ugh. Old, like maybe Olds Cutlass or Buick Skylark, oh, GSX, and that white and blue. Ooh, give me some of that. I like it. I don't even know what they call that color. Virgin white, snow white, crystal white. I don't know. You know, it's pretty. I just like it. I, don't, I like a white toolbox. I don't know. It's just different. People always like, oh, to get dirty all the time. Hey. Uh, we're going to start rolling through some of these because a lot of this gets repetitive. Uh, we got a magnetic tool tool, is gra tool garage, $64.95, and some BOGO universal swivel sets, $199. But down here, this is very interesting. Props to Cornwall. Pretty sure those are USA-made Cornwall sockets. 12-piece 3H drive metric sets, $284. Yes, they're a little bit more money. Save up to $130 on that. Six points. And uh, you can tell they're Cornwell branded USA made because they don't have that extra blue power stuff on them. But I don't see blue power anywhere in here. So they threw in a little USA made stuff right there. I don't know. They didn't say anything. I'm not sure. They got new. They don't have them in their old uh, rails like they used to. But three sixty four ninety seven. Man, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like it a lot. Sepe likes it a lot. We got some uh, screwdriver star sets. Uh, we got six-piece screwdriver set. Excuse me. $89.95. And then we have the Tamper Proof Star. Somebody had left me a comment about the Tamper screw Star screwdrivers and said, asked me if I like the, the Cornwall ones. Okay, I do, do like the Cornwall ones. They seem like the tip has been very uh, good at holding up. But, however, I don't like the ha the handle. They're not dense enough, uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, I, there's a lot of screwdrivers. Vessel is probably my favorite screwdriver right now. I got to tell you, the Vessel Megador screwdrivers with the cross-type, JS cross-type, have really proven to me to be one of the best screwdrivers on the market as far as just being uh, all-around good. That Megador, that Jaws Fit tip on them really gets in there. Uh, I used to be big on the Snap-on. I kind of like my Max, but the Mac has a terrible number one. I always have. I don't know why they can't fix that. And the Mac goes, I like two, but I've broken the tips on them quite a bit. So uh, the Vessel seems to be the best. However, that being said, I do like this the Cornwells too, but the problem is, is I don't like the density of the handle. The, I love the handles and how they feel. They just don't seem to have enough heft to them if that makes sense i like my screwdriver to have a little beef to it you know i feel like it's not so light in the hand like when i can wrap on something you know but just to help me out get that weight in there so uh if that's something cornwall could do honestly i think they could add some density into their handles would really make a big difference i'm not sure why they're so light but anyways uh rant over on that or you know information 122 blue power ratchets there we got 109 69 49 we got a bit set over here uh three piece which is the one like the dean tools one or the one like my top tool one where this the extension goes through the handle pretty nice little deal 39.95 some picks 24.95 moving right along flexible magnet must have tools right here uh i also like to get one of those digital angle gauges god i need to get one i don't never need it a lot but uh, hammerless pin punches. We jumped around here. Twenty-eight ninety-five, forty-eight ninety-five. Flexible magnets. Your magnets, guys. Are you know? I mean, flexible magnets a must-have tool to have. And I'm telling you, that's going to save your life three or four times a year. Just an awesome tool. But all your other magnets are pretty nice to have. I I love magnets. I'm a big magnet guy. Uh, just handy to have. Picking up tools when they drop under the car. Finding sockets down in the engine bay. You know, you can drop a cam timing. Uh, you know, bolt for a cam time when you're doing cam timing or uh you know space or something anything like that you just you gotta have them 
They're just they're just a must have. A borescope and a magnet will save your butt in a million ways. Um, I believe Steve Steve from Tool Demos just did a video about a borescope and a magnet saving a ten millimeter. Help save me. Uh what? Zoom enhance. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, four piece universal drive drive line sockets, one forty nine ninety five. We got to get moving along here. We got some more socket bundles. 218, 231, and 599 for a three quarter inch set. That's pretty spicy. The old uh, air tools, more air tools here. We got another air hammer, 259.95. Oh, that 116 piece. Look at this. That kid up there has a pair of channel lock, water pump pliers, side cutters, needle nose, wrenches, and sockets. That's a nice little to go kit. Uh, save up to $577. Half price on that bad boy right there. But like I said, Cornwall is one of the only ones that's got a good kit like that. So <clears throat> for putting it in your truck to go, let's say you're going to a junkyard or something like that. You know, I don't like to load up my snap-on stuff for that. I want to have a to-go kit that has everything all in one where I don't have to think about it or load stuff up or put it in a bag. You know, I'm getting that's what I'm getting tired of. Is I want something that's already ready to go. Where I just grab it, one, sna one snatch and go. Uh, we got the old Blue Blaster, $4.99, some more other air tools, nothing in here that's really jumping me out, jumping out at me as new. I'm not a Streamlight fan, guys, I lost my, lost my, I used to buy Streamlight, in fact, I've had Streamlight up, up until the past, last five years, I think Streamlight's, uh, behind in the game. If, if I wanted to pick a light, it'd be a Coast or no light over a Streamlight any day of the week, I'd, prefer to stay away from streamlight i just don't like them all they have little things that break on them that pisses me off and it's annoying uh we got some more carts here more carts um yeah uh adjustable tray 479 yikes i like my snap on i don't understand why these adjustable carts which these mobile tool trays are awesome don't get me wrong but i don't know why my snap one's the only one that has a crank handle for adjustable i always ask people Hey, why do you have an adjustable tray and when it's loaded down? How do you pull it up and down? I mean, let's say you got 150 pounds worth of tools on there and then you want to move it up and down. I mean, they're just kind of, it sucks. They're stationary most of the time. Wherever you set it, if you have to set it at one part. And that's why I don't understand. Why do these guys not have adjustability on all of them? Why is Snap-on the only one that's got one? It, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, basic code reader, 59999. Everybody should have one of those. Whether you're a DIY or professional, they're just nice for quick code clearing. Sometimes I just want to get a code. You know, I want to know fast. You just got it. It's one of those tools that's, that's a must-have tool for owning a vehicle right now. I'd, quite frankly, I think they should have diagnostics on board just for getting codes. I think it's kind of a BS deal, but what do you do? 11-piece master terminal service kit. I've been talking about getting one of those. I don't really... Well, no, that's not the one I want. Uh, but, yeah, three, 234. The Ossenmacher wire soldering clamp. AST, 5695. Awesome tool to have. Definitely a must-have tool. Uh, I do have the Lyle one, too. The, the Lyle one and that one are just two fantastic soldering tools. You can't beat them. Uh, if you don't spend $150, $169, get the AES Wave Kit. Trust me, these ES Electronic Specialty Kits are just garbage. Wires are terrible. $189.99. Terminal Tool Kit. We got a Electrician's Pliers, Noid Light Set, Battery Charger, the Thermal Imaging Camera, $449. That's not bad. Thermal Imaging Camera, pretty decent price. Master Cool Set 340. I think I bought mine at, for 275. I bought mine on the Matco truck. Can't believe how wildly expensive these things are getting. This is pretty cool. Vacuum Cooling Assistant Road Filler. $200. Guys, if you guys got a Cornwall dealer, these are Marshallville Scientific. Same ones they have as Matco, Snap On, Mac Truck. And they're all selling them for $300, $300 plus. That's a killer deal right there. I paid $190 on the Matco truck three years ago when the price was right. This is when you buy these tools when they're at this price because that is a deal. When all the inflation that's going on and that thing's like what it was three years ago, that's a killer deal. That is a smoking killer deal, and that's one of the best ones on the market. 
B- buy it. Don't look back. Um, Cornwell Magnetic Funnel Holder. Hey, guys, look at that guy. You guys know where that came from. You guys, OG subscribers, know the 310 Tool showed up on my channel. Victor, the guy that owned 310 Tool. Then we got him hooked up with Lyle. Now he's in the Cornwell truck. Going worldwide. Going worldwide. Quick Flow Pump. That's a Private Band Tools 148. I believe I've seen Scuba Steve just bought one and picked up one of them gems. Might have been from the Cornwall guy. So, uh, shout out, quick shout out to old Scuba. Scuba Steve, blind hole pairing puller, 188. Those are handy to have. Bushing drivers, more Lyle stuff. Lyle rebrand stuff. Eight peaks ox axle socket set. We got the Lyle flip sockets. Wheel stud pilot pins. Those are not bad. 88 bucks. I like to have a set of them, but I really don't work on enough Volkswagens to really adjust by their Audis. That's mainly what you're going to use them for. Protector sockets. We got some body hammer tools. I always like, I always, I want to get some body dollies and some spoons. Need to jump on that. Lyle exhaust hanger pliers, $33.95. Another great tool to have. You just, you're going to love. Um, shop equipment. Shop equipment. Uh, moving around. Uh, swords. <laughs> the swords get me. We got some welding equipment, but let's not negate the fact that the swords are my favorite part of the flyer now. Honestly, uh, the Cornwall guys say they're selling like crazy, which blows my mind. But what do you do if you're a shop owner and guy comes in with a Sierra Zulu claw hook off the truck, okay? And you just hand him a ticket and say, I need this thing done, okay? I mean, that's a little intimidating. We got the NHR, NHRA flag folder and the minimalist Bowie knife, $36.95, which is uh, $99 which is a CRKT, so that's kind of a sweet little gem right there. And, of course, we move right to the next page. And what do we have? Swords. Night Watchmen. Ex excremina. Sword. Excremina? Excre excrement? Sword? That's awkward. I don't know if I'm liking that name. How long is that thing? 20? Is that say 28 and an in eighth inch overall length? What do you do? When your guy's wielding a 28-inch sword in the shop. Okay, I feel sorry for you poor service of the riders when a cornwall guy comes around he's got shorts on his truck. I mean, this is getting out of control. Hell, I'm not even sure that's legal in all 50 states. Just rolling around with a 28-inch sword. We got the gladiator sword. I mean, that's a 20-inch that's a sword. 26 and a point one overall length. I mean, I'm not going to say that I wouldn't buy one just for shits and giggles. But lock, down here we have... Some USA made knives, which uh, kudos to Cornwall for putting these out because I'd be all over these. Cornwall folder, pocket, Kershaw. I like that. The fact that it's got Cornwall name, it's Kerr with Kershaw and it's USA made. $102.95. Not going to lie. And then, of course, Benchmade. How can you go wrong with Benchmade? Benchmades are awesome knives. <clears throat> 180 bucks here. We got the bug out and the mini bug out. I love it. God, I love it. I need another Benchmade knife in my life. And last but not least, we have some folding lights. $195.95, not bad. Limited quantities on the greens and the yellows. Some air hammers, $440. $400. Jump pack, $319, which I believe is a JNC. Riband. Anyways, guys. Man, I'll tell you what. You know, Don't forget your swords when you get on the Cornwall truck. Let me know. Your latest sword purchase when you get on the sword truck. If you made it this far and you buy swords, I want to know about it. I need to know about it. This I need to live by curiously through you. Anyways, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. And don't forget, buy the blue, save the green at Cornwell. Blue power.